Hi hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And then on this video, we're looking at volatility 25 index on the 24 hour time frame. Watch up in, watch up until the end so that you can get like a few tips uh, on how to analyze like properly and all of that stuff. So looking at the daily time frame, we have the overall descending channel around this point. And then the reason I'm drawing this up is so that I can just allocate where the market can reverse just because the overall trend is to the downside. As you can see, if I zoom out, you'll see that the overall trend is to the downside. And then we have this descending channel within a descending channel around this point, just like this. So the overall pattern within pattern, 90% has, has already been hit around this point. And then we also have like the, the larger 90% rule of which is this one here and then we had a pattern within this area here of which i can just cater for and then now looking at the current market structure we are at this area here of which is a value area or a poi that we can use is because we have this overall ascending channel that is going on around this point and then we had like that mass psychology activation around this area let me just change the color we have that mass psychology activation for us to sell off from there. So initially, we can look for selling opportunities. And then if they don't work out, we can look for selling opportunities at the top of the structure. So let me draw out like the pattern around here also. And then we also have like a pattern and then a pattern around this area here of which it will be catered for on the lower time frames. And then let's look at the four hour. So on the four hour time frame, we have a clear rejection whereby we had like multiple candlesticks that rejected in this area, which means we have like some type of a value area here that will give us like a more impulsive move to the downside just because we are looking for those selling opportunities. And then looking at this current pattern that we're working with, we have two touches at the top and two touches at the bottom. Let me just do this. And then we have this touch here. We have this touch here. And then we also have this touch at the bottom and this one here. So which means we can look for those selling opportunities up until maybe we reach this point. And then we look for some buying opportunities that will break structure and then give us like the third touch. And then maybe push a little bit to the upside, give us like that mass psychology at the top of the structure. Then we can look for those long-term sales from there up until the overall 90%, which is this one here. And then let's look at the one hour time frame so that we can look for those entries just because we did like our forecast and then we know what we are looking for on the higher time frames. So on the one hour time frame, initially what we look for is entries. And then the first entry that we look for is the risk entry of which in this, scenario here the risk entry has already pushed to the downside and then we have this ascending channel that i was talking about as you can see we have a clear ascending channel and then we also have like this middle section that we can cater for around this point make sure that you do each and everything properly make sure that you're catering for the current market structures and then what i'll do is that i'll just drain out this trend here and then we have this ascending channel at the top of the structure. And then the risk entry should be around here. You get like a candlestick rejection. And then you look for your selling opportunities. Your stop loss can be just above the structure, just like this. So as you can see, the trade has already pushed to the downside. So there's no need for us to look for risk entries or forecast the risk entries at the moment. So we're looking for a low risk entry or a risk entry whereby if we get like a larger flag in this area, that's when we can take that as entry. So we have the ascending channel in this point. We already broke structure very impulsively of which is convincing for us to take like the selling opportunity. And then what I'll do is that I'll put like the other 90% on this area here of which it can be like our first target. And then looking at the structures, we have a clear push to the downside, the first tight flag around this point for us to get like those nice selling opportunities. So. You can take the trade just because it's ready at the moment. Let me just check the candlestick. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have 10 hours and then already we look for six to eight hours. So it's already in our plan so that we can take like this trade. So this is a tight flag on this point. 
and then you take your sell stop just below here a few pips below and then your stop loss can be just above this point or this point here but i'll just keep it at this area and then the first target would be around this point for about 3.84%, 82%. And then the outer structure for about 5.6. And then that nine, that uh, third touch would be 9.57. And then the overall 90% for the outer structures would be at around 17%. So this is volatility 25 index. And then I hope you take that's trade and then I hope it works out very nicely. That's it for today's video and I'll see you on another one.